about 10 years ago, um, I was backpacking around the world and I was actually teaching in, in South London and um, I had financed myself to do more traveling and Australia was on the destination. And um, uh, after backpacking through Australia, when I returned home and returned to teaching, um, I got married and had a family and was always wanted to come back to Australia. And um, our school board, or our province, has uh, an exchange program with Australia. For, it's been going on for about 35 years. Anyways, uh, it was an opportunity to uh, revisit Australia and this time return with a, a family and, and spend a whole year here. I come out and check out a, a meeting and, and, uh, and see what goes on and, and uh, share some of the same uh, issues that, that you know, we have back home with our union and uh, for the benefit of teachers. I see the same kind of issues, um, uh, let's say, differences in primary and secondary um, uh, curriculum issues, uh, standardized testing, uh, accountability with, um, with governments, uh, lack of funding or um, how that funding is dispersed. But with uh, education, uh, very similar issues uh, uh, that we have back home. And um, just nice to meet some other people and, and, um, and share the same kind of stories and, and, uh, and then share uh, more about my exchange. So it was great, it was informative to, uh, to come and see uh, similar issues and, and, uh, and see some of the topics that are discussed here in New South Wales. When I was uh, first uh, began teaching 20 years ago, um, I was a bit uh, apprehensive about having to pay an, a certain amount of money uh, every month to be a part of a union. I just thought it should be my choice. Um, over the years of teaching, I, I realized the importance of, of having a voice and having some, someone support you because um, as, as um, careful as one tries as a teacher, there's always uh, uh, factors out there that, that, um, that can ruin a teacher's career and there's always issues and uh, you don't always get the support within a school, in a school setting, so uh, unions uh, should be mandatory and again, a teaching standpoint of view, uh, nowadays, um, yeah, there's, there's other factions that jeopardize your career and um, you need to have that, uh, that protection and, and as an experienced teacher I have had issues where I have needed a union a representative to, to support me in, in, uh, in several circumstances yeah, and I think um, again there should be TV commercials out there or um, as what was discussed today um, getting uh, the, the, the word out there that as a teacher you do need to have that support because uh, it, it's just imperative. There's always something uh, that may come up in your career and, uh, and uh, whatever point of your career it is, uh, it's, it can be very damaging uh, financially and also uh, spiritually. No matter where we go, uh, no matter who we've met, whether it's at a petrol station, a grocery store, uh, people in the community, um, just how generous and, and caring and loving and nurturing Australian people are. The, the pride of, of wanting to help others and um, I hope to pay that forward when, when I go back home and I encounter uh, people from uh, various countries who are traveling and uh, again uh, Australians are just uh, they should all be proud of, of how they treat other people.